Hey everybody, it's Audrey. Welcome to day four of the Summer Scrapping series. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, today my guest is Yana and she has an amazing channel. I know I say this about everybody, but all these people are some of my favorite scrappers. So uh, please go check out her work. I just absolutely love her pages and the techniques that she used. Um, okay, so I today am going to just focus on this piece of pattern paper. Um, this came in a kit, probably a hip kit, club kit. Um, and I have, my my kits are piling up because I have not been using them uh, very much at all. So I love this piece of pattern paper. Um, I like that it looks like it already has mixed media done to it, and so you don't really have to do too much more to it. So uh, I am going to use this kit and some of the embellishments, um, and I am just going to do some tone on tone and match up the colors. I first thought about just, um, because the, the green is so much darker compared to the other ones, I was going to, the other colors, um, that is, I was going to, uh, take some of those green leaves and kind of spread them across the page, um, in some of the pink and purple areas, but then I, when I, when I was pulling them out of the package and I laid them on top of the other, the green area, I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just leave them there and do the whole tone-on-tone -tone thing. So, um, I'm also picking out this word fabulous and it does not fit completely in the blue section so I will worry about that later and a uh, couple other words I'm going through so again I'm just going through finding things that kind of go with the colors in each corner um, you also see I have my punches pulled out there to the right I'm trying to use up use things I mean things that I haven't used in a while um, and, and bring some life back into the stuff that's collecting dust in my scrap area. So um, I'm going to take this scallop punch and cut out a piece of pattern paper. It has a little bit of white in it, but still it's mostly tone on tone. And then I'm trying to find other things in this kit that have the same tones. Um, I had to, to uh, pull out some other pattern paper packs. I have the Horizon pattern paper, 6x8 paper pack. Um, so I'm going to use that for some of the green items, I think. Oh, these <laughs> these um, green dots here, it, um, let's see, four or five process videos ago, I did a page with the green polka dot paper, and they were kind of sitting on my desk still. And so they were the perfect color for this green on this piece of pattern paper. So I kind of glued them together and punched a shape out of them, and it will work just fine. So... Um, I'm glad I was actually being a little resourceful there and using things that were on my on my desk already. Um, so I found a different, I used a different punch and punched another border strip in the top right there. And again, did the purple on purple. And I think that purple piece came from actually a 4x6 card. And the same thing here, I'm using a 3x4 card that comes with the um, Project Life Kit for the Hip Kit Club this month. This is, I think this is the, this is either the March or April kit, maybe? I don't really remember. It might have even been February, but who knows? They're all just in the pile on my scrap table. I really didn't have any, um, plan going into this page, <laughs> which is ironic because in my last video I was saying how when I had a plan it was, you know, my pages seemed to go faster. So as a result, this process video is a little bit longer because I didn't have a specific plan and I didn't have specific materials I was using. So it was kind of a, you know, a, a search through my stash to find things that match just right. Okay, so I kind of like this, um, you know, having the different punched border strips on each color. I tried to do a different pattern of punch on each of the, let's see, five colors? Yeah, in each of the five colors. Um, and I put, again, I put this one on the corner and some of them just along the edges, and I'm kind of just trying to balance that out as I go along. So, um... I felt that, so I put this journaling spot here, and you can see on the pattern paper, there's that one area where there's a lot of, um, there's white. It's right above the, the green section, and in between the green and like the, the peach and the pink. 
and that white part is on the pattern paper. So I felt like I wanted to put some more white elements around my photo. So I'm finding some uh, label stickers and some date stickers and tags, and I'm going to um, layer some more whitish elements around my photos and keep the colors to their respective blocks. So this is why I also matte my photo in kind of an off-white color. I'm, I actually use the packaging for, I'm not, I, I don't know what the packaging was for, but it was for one of the products I'm using here, but uh, I think it was from Pink Fresh Studio, but it was perfect for my photo. And then I stitched around my photo there with some gold thread. I'll show you the close-up there. So a lot of these leaves came from um, Paige Evans. I think this is the Whimsical collection. Some are from the Whimsical and some are from the Horizon die cuts. And I have both packages <clears throat> and I had pulled them both out and they were both on my desk and I don't know exactly which ones came from which, but I'm also using some of the sticker books and um, some other things that came in this kit. It's funny how you know, when you're looking for a particular color, like for example, this purple, when I first glanced at this kit, I wouldn't have really thought that there was that much purple in it. But then you go through and you start finding things, and you're like, oh, there's a purple flower, and there's a purple butterfly, and a purple sticker, and um, you can really get, you know, a lot of, a lot of bits from these kits. So I'm just going to play around with my layering and where I'm going to put things here. I don't think I've glued the border strips down yet. I don't think I've glued anything down yet. So again, I'm just digging through my stash, finding, finding things to put on. The one um, flower I have there in the peach area has some green leaves on it. Those leaves are going to get hidden or cut off. I can't remember, <clears throat> but they're, I didn't, I didn't intend for them to be, to, to show the green part. So I think this is the whimsical collection from Paige Evans. Yeah. So this photo is a little bit goofy. It's my mother and I, and my family does this weird thing. I don't know. You know how all families have this, you know, weird thing that they do, and I, and everybody else is like, that's that's very strange. <laughs> so we make this face. I have no idea where it came from. I think, I mean, and we've been doing this for years. I think it was because we were picking on my brother about something, and he made this weird face. And so now we always try to copy the face. So. We like take selfies of ours and send them to each other making this face and we always make this face when we're like, um, I don't know, like, like when we're trying to impress somebody and we always try to pretend like, you know, it's like this fabulous face. So the word fabulous kind of fits this photo here. And again, it probably doesn't make any sense to you, but to us it's kind of funny. So when I show my mother this page, I'm sure she's going to laugh and then say, wait, you put that on you put that on the internet. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what this goofy photo is all about. Okay, so what else did I dig out? I dug out some of the whimsical rub-ons. I just used a little purple butterfly rub-on there. Uh, some more peach things. I put the word memories down in the green. At first, again, I didn't think it was going to be the right color green, and it's not exactly the dark green, but I actually like the, I mean, it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more blue. Um, but I think it looks good against the dark green because you can still actually see it. Um, you can see at the top, right in the middle, I actually took um, a piece of the peach uh, paper that I punched and a piece of the purple, and I used the same punch, but I put it right over where the colors uh, meet. And <clears throat> So that's two pieces of paper, obviously, um, but I just wanted to kind of make them look like they were, you know, blended in a way. So, um, and I'm doing the same thing here on the right. I am going to find a little peach piece of paper, or pink piece of paper, and then use the same punch and overlap it right where the colors meet again to kind of make it look like it's a continuous piece just changing color. So the obviously the major design here is around the edge of the page. I'm doing very minimal um, embellishing around my photo. I say minimal, there's quite a few things around my photo, but I'm sticking, I'm trying to make the focus of the of the design or on the outside of the page. And again, when I started this, I was not planning on that, but as I started to lay out the pieces and the border strips, uh, it just seemed to fit pretty good. So am I gonna start sticking anything down? Yeah, I think I'm gonna start sticking these letters down. 
These are from Pink Fresh Studio. I love these, these words. And the colors are so pretty. I don't do any mixed media or anything. Do I? Oh yeah, I do do a little splattering coming up soon. I sometimes forget what I do. If it's been a couple days since I've made this page, then I forget exactly what I did when. And I usually do my mixed media at the beginning, so that's why I couldn't remember. So I, I was struggling with whether or not to break up this word fabulous because I don't it, it, it didn't fit if I put it all the way across as one word obviously and I sometimes don't and especially like where the break is it's like fab fabule and then us o u s I wish it was like fab u s at least that would make more sense where you have the fab the break I guess I could have cut them apart but um the O-U-S just fit nicely there underneath the F, so I just left it like that. I'm starting to pop up some of these flowers and leaves and things that I am um, putting around the edges. And anything that's sticking off the edge, I often don't show this, but like anything that's sticking off the corner or off the edge of a page, I always trim those down. Um, and actually, that's one of the last things I do. So those little bits that hang off always get trimmed off. And I just throw the scraps away unless it's big enough to save. But for most of the, for most of these, no, they were not big enough to save. Okay, so I went through and pulled out some inks and mists and sprays and paints that had colors that matched the five colors in the paper. So this is a Shimmers, um, I don't know the name of the color. You could probably see it there if you zoom in close enough. It's a purplish color that matches the purple and then a peachy color that matches the peach um, and a pink. And the blue and the green were so close to the colors of the paper that you don't even really see the splatters on them. So I really went kind of I went in with a brush and kind of did heavier, more deliberate uh, spots so that you could see them. The same thing with the blue it was not it did not really show up that much at all. All right, um, what else do I do here? So I wait for that to dry, and that's all the media I add to the page really. Um, I went and put my photo back on. I started to glue on the other things um, around my photo. This is another rub on. So I like this, but I feel again like I need something, um, I don't know, some more white maybe around the photo. So I'm going to come in in a minute here, put some more white elements around my photo. I think the rest of me is just. The rest of this is just me gluing things down. Probably should have sped this up a little bit because it's really just me rearranging pieces and bits. So of course I'm going to map my photo on my craft foam. I'm going to add some extra glue. Trying another kind of double sided tape here to see if this one works any better. So I at this point I like I like the way things look but I feel like it's still kind of missing something. And I wasn't quite sure what that is. Cause I got a lot of, I have a lot of little bits on there. Um, I feel like that peach area is kind of too stark. It's, it needs more, more things. So I found these, um, they're 
doily stickers and they're I don't know they might just be the Michaels brand like the recollections recollections brand um, and I wanted to add some more white on the photo so I put a couple of stickers to the right of the photo but I did not so after I did this I realized that they weren't white enough because they were kind of transparent stickers um, so I actually go back through with real doilies and put some tiny doilies on and then I still felt like it was missing something so off camera you can see that I went and added some hand stitching. So I just drew lines and I did this like days after I thought I was done with this page. I just drew some lines, hand stitched on um, the lines with matching thread and I really like how that ties the page together. So here's some close-ups. You can see my stitching there and these close-ups better. Uh, you can see those paper doilies that I used and all the little embellishments and bits. So thanks for uh, sticking with me through this long process video today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this page, day four of the Summer Scrapping Series, and tomorrow is day five. 